Okay, so 5.1. So when you simplify, you need to convert to small angles. So in other words, A. Well, we know that any time you go around a circle, you just get back to the same point. So whether it's plus or minus 360, you just end up back at the same point. Yeah. So if you, if you were to go the other way around, you'd still end up there. So the sine A360 is just sine A. Now cos 90 plus A, easiest way to do it is just to imagine that A was a, a let, uh, an angle. So say cos, say, uh, so you know cos, you know what, you give A a value of 30, that's what I do. So then you say, well, cos 120 would be what it would be, and you get negative a half. Okay, which you know is sine. Yeah. Sine 30. Because you know that sine 30 is a half, and cos from our special angle triangles, one, two, sorry, that's 30, and that's one, and that's root three. Yeah. The sine of 30 is a half. So we just put in that as a default. When we get cos 120, when we put in 30, we get negative a half. And so it's going to be just minus sine A. Okay, there's, a, there's another way as well where with, when you just imagine that it's uh, the cos graphs and stuff, but we haven't done that yet. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna simplify it because it's... And so let's put in 30 for uh, the next one as well at the bottom. So cos 90 minus 30 is gonna be cos 60 and see what we get. We see we get a half. So this mm -hmm. is sine A. Because sine A is a half. So sine 30 is a half. And tan minus A. So we know tan would be uh, 1 over root 3. Yeah. So let's just try tan minus 30 and see what we get. Well, minus one over root three or th root three over three because they rationalize the denominator on your calculator. So it ends up being mm -hmm. negative. So this is minus tan A. Yeah. Okay, now um, tan is sine over cos. First we can cancel this and this. And we can cancel the negatives. Um, negative and negative. We can convert that tan A to sine A over cos A. Okay, so when you sine A divided by sine over cos A, just to avoid confusion, you can cancel these signs, but just to show Instead of dividing by sine over cos, you times by cos over sine. This is an A. <clears throat> and you get cos A. Okay, the next one, <clears throat> what we've got is, they like to do this. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, they put it in a quadrant, so <coughs> we know that this is theta, we know that this is 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, 360 minus theta, and this is And so we know that sine is positive here, all are positive here. And so you can just, this we just have to remember this cost diagram. Yeah. Um,
Okay, so here we're in the 360 minus theta quadrant. First thing they want is T. Okay, so we know a couple of things. We know that the X value of this is, is three. So we know then that this distance here is three. And so we can use Pythag to get T. And we know that it's obviously going to be a negative value because it's down here and Y is negative. So 5.2.1, T is equal to, we're going to say negative <clears throat> because it's in the um, quadrant down below. Uh, negative so it's going to be root 34, because that's the hypotenuse, squared yep. minus 3 squared. And this is Pythag. And so T equals, so that'll be 34 minus 9, which is 25. Uh, t squared. T squared equals 20. Uh, okay, so we just got to be careful here. Um, I'm going to leave this off and just put the negative here. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Because if we square root the negative, it's a problem. And so we get negative t equals five, so t equals minus five. So it's over here, down the bottom. Okay, now tan beta is going to be, <clears throat> so it's negative in this quadrant. So now we just do the, the regular tan. Um, we're going to be looking, kind of be, going to be treating it like this actually. So this we found out was five, the length was five. Okay, so tan is opposite. Well, we can say negative five, then we don't have to change anything because T is negative five. Um, because it's, and then the adjacent is three. Hmm. Okay, now cos two beta, there's a little bit of work because we need to convert it to something. So let's just get one of these. Uh, I think the easiest would just be to make it two cos squared because two beta, It'll, you can get the same answer whatever you use, but probably easiest to use cos again. So cos squared beta minus one is what we're gonna get. And so we know that two, okay, so cos squared is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's three over root 34 squared minus one. So it's going to be, that's going to be 34. So it's going to be nine over 34 times two. So it's going to be 18 over 34 minus one equals, so that's going to be, th uh, 16 over 34, which is 8 over 17. So that was 5.2, that was 0.2, and this was 0.3.
Okay, so we're going to need to make a little bit of space. Um, you happy with this so mm -hmm, far? Definitely. Can I take it all off? Yep. Okay. Um, and now. Okay. So 5.3.1. They want us to prove, and usually we prove when we're proving. We take the left-hand side and prove it. So you say LHS and sine A plus B. So what I'm going to do is this looks very much like we need to use our uh, double angle formulas. So we're just going to sub them straight in. So A plus B is sine A cos B minus uh, cos A sine B, and then we minus the other one. Gosh, this is a really easy question. Um, so I'm gonna put the other one down below because we don't have space. So that's going to be cos A, sorry, uh, Sine A cos B Okay, so sine A plus B was the plus, so this is plus. And then the sine A minus B is, is the bottom one, so that's minus. And then we have a cos A sine B. Okay, well now that they're under each other, it's actually easy because you're minusing. So that minus that is just zero. When you minus a minus, you plus. So it becomes plus two cos A and B. So it actually works nicely to write them under each other. Uh, is it really that easy? Sorry? Is it really that easy, this question? Yeah, it's really that easy. Um, I, I, yeah, you know, every year is different. 2019, that paper was a bugger. Um, yeah, I thought that was not nice. Yeah. Um, okay, therefore, LHS equals RHS. Okay, so now, without using a calculator, sign <clears throat> 77 minus 43. I'm wondering if we have to use... I'm wondering, we might have to use, see they're, they're hinting that we need to use 5.3.1 for this one. Because why would they make it in the same question? So let's look at, let's explore sine 77 and sine 43. Well, sine 77 and sine 43. Okay, the relationship between them is this is 60 plus 17. And this is 60 minus 17. Mm -hmm. The only reason why we can kind of is 5.3.1 hinted that we're using a plus b, a minus b. Oh, so we can just write that as so we start with sine. Uh, so I'm going to. So this is, we wouldn't write this in. Um, so let's do this actually. We'll say that and we'll say equals sine 60 minus and we should write a sign in here equals and then now we can actually just say that it's um what we proved about two uh signs 60 sorry it was cos wasn't it uh we proved it to be two yeah two because. sine a so a is our 60 and is our cos 
17. Okay, I turned the wrong way around. I should have taken, let's, let's take the other way around. You can, you can do this. Let's make the sign. Uh, so it's two, and you can take either way around. So let's do the, um, just so that it's quicker. Cos 60, sine 17. Um, and so then we get two, and we know cos 60 from our special angles is a half. So we just write that in there. One over two, so adjacent to the 60, half, sine 17, now that's the right answer. If we'd gone the other route, let's just show uh, that quickly, because it might've been confusing why we switched we were, we, were, we were going down the route of having cos 17. Yeah. Sine 60. Then what we end up is we have to turn this into <clears throat> um, sine 90 minus 17. And sine 60 is one over uh, root three. And then you you ending up having to do this and, and, and converting it all into this. Um, which is a pro which is going to be difficult. Yeah. You, you'll get the answer eventually, but um, it's just a key of, you, you, you got to notice that when you have two in front and you're wanting sine 17 and you've already got sine 17. So we had, so when you see this and you say, well, I don't want this to be sine cos 17, I want it to be sine 17. And I know that if I turn this into cos 60, it would be a half. Yeah. So that's why I just switched mid question. Okay, um, so that's question five. Okay, so that, that was pretty quick and easy. So maybe let's look at the 29 paper next, 2019 paper to see what they got. Yeah.